I've done an album, it's called Hank Cool Teddy Bear. And what I'm doing, and the reason I'm doing it, is because when we were making this record, there was a feeling about this particular record. Unlike any record that I've ever done, and I, I'm an old guy, unlike any record that I've ever done, there was a feeling of this kind of inspiration. There was a, a, a feeling of musicians of, we're working on something really special. And everybody, it's not that they don't try hard all the time, but you could get a sense that everybody kind of looked at each other and would say, wow, you know, I, I, don't, I think what we're doing is fantastic. And, they, and everybody just kind of dug in that much more. And it was a very happy, I, I, I don't want to say spiritual, but because eh, that's kind of me. Eh. Um, but it was a very positive, positive atmosphere in this recording studio. And in my experience, I've never had a positive atmosphere in a recording studio. I've had, you know, a few laughs in recording studio. I've done some good stuff, but never had this really positive attitude. So the record finished, the record is finished. Uh, we go to mix it. The mix, the guy who's mixing it, Chris Lauren Algae, he gets, you get that feel, he starts to listen to it and goes, wow, this is like, wow, okay, let's, let's get this. You take it to the mastering guy, Ted Jansen, who's, you know, mastered uh, from Springsteen to Elton to Zeppelin to, you know, any, any artist that you might love, I guarantee you this guy's mastered him. And to hip hop, to rap, to jazz, to rock, to pop, to Justin Timberlake, whoever. Uh, and all of a sudden he hears it and he, all of a sudden he gets this thing about, wow, wh wow, you got, something's going on here. So all of a sudden you go, well, let's do this and then, and he wasn't so blasé. So I said, I got this thing and I said, you know what, I have to convey I have to take and go myself and do something that no artist has ever done before. I have to go and I have to take this record and I have to sit with people. I have to sit with the record company. I have to sit with journalists. I have to sit with media people. And I have to get them to experience the same feeling that we have and that we had with this record. Because the record itself, I know I call it a record, but a CD. Um, the record itself, when you hear it, will give you that. So they see how I've kind of got, I've kind of like Peter Pan, got my youth back. And to pass along that feeling to, excuse me, to a journalist, and who in turn, or a media person, who in turn might pass it on to a, 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 a reader or a, a, a viewer of a, of a website that they could pass along that kind of feeling and then it might inspire you to, I don't care if you've hated me, you don't like my music, you think I'm a clown, you think I'm a, uh, I suck, I don't care. I really don't, it doesn't make any difference because that's what makes the world go round. But, it, even if you think that, it might inspire you to go, hmm, maybe this could be different. And maybe I could give this a moment. Maybe I could try to see what this is about. Uh, don't know if you will, but just thought it might be worth a shot. So no other artist has ever done what I've been doing, and I'm doing it around the world. I'm sitting with everybody and presenting this and explaining what we have. Now I'll explain to you this Hang Cool Teddy Bear. Hang Cool Teddy Bear uh, is an album. Now when you say, why call it Hang Cool Teddy Bear? Exactly, because you ask why. That's exactly why I did it. Because everybody goes, huh? Because, you know, I could be Sister Maria and the Long Road Home, or I could be, you know, so-and-so and my moment of truth and so and you know welcome to my world and come on down and get some or you know let's party or any of that kind of I'm sorry they're boring people they're really boring they're not inspiring and they're boring titles and they don't mean anything Hang Cool Teddy Bear at least got you to ask the question what 
All right, Hank Gold Teddy Bear, the whole album is about a short story. It's about a soldier who is dying, and instead of his life flashing backwards, what they say that happens when you die, his life flashes forward into different scenarios of what could happen in his life. Now, you don't need to know that story to enjoy the record, but if you do know the story, and you start to listen to the record, and you listen to it more and more, you're going to see how all the it's not literal. You see how all the songs start to tie in and talk to each other and speak to each other in the same way that if you're playing a video game, you have cookies, <laughs> I believe is the correct term. So this album is full of cookies. And, and, and it's like you, everybody wants the adventure in the movies. Everybody wants the adventure in their video game. Nobody is giving you the adventure in, anymore in music. Well, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to give you that adventure. I call this a video game for your mind.